Before we start, it is important to note that Chrome is probably the best browser to use when using Google Drive. You can start by going to drive.google.com or you can start from your Gmail account. After you have signed into your Google account, click on the apps icon on the right and then choose Drive. You will see the Drive user interface. In the left hand side navigation, you will find the red new button that lets you create a new folder, upload a file, or upload a folder. You can also drag and drop items from your desktop into your drive. Make sure to create these items in the folder you want it to be in. Here's an example. I want to create a drive tutorial document in my David Lee EdTech folder. I first will need to go into the folder, then create the document. You can of course create a Google Doc, a Google Sheet, a Google Slide, a Google Form, and a Google Drawing. When you click Connect More Apps, you will be provided with the window that lets you search and install third-party apps that works with Google Drive. Next in the left-hand side navigation is My Drive. This is where you will find all your files and folders you created, uploaded, and synced. You can click on the drop-down arrow to view all the folders in your drive. When you select on an item in your drive, you will find some icons appear at the top. You can get the link of your item, share it, see it as a preview, move it to the trash, and undo the action if you must. The three dotted icon provides you with more actions. Open the item with another app, move it to a folder, add a star to prioritize the item, rename it, view details, make a copy, or download it. More about the share option. The get shareable link button automatically copies the link of the item. Anyone with the link can edit, comment, or view your item. Under people, type in names or email addresses. Choose whether they can edit, comment, or view the item, and add a note. Uncheck the box if you don't want to notify the person via email. To move an item, drag it to the left navigation bar and place it into the specific folder. Under My Drive is Incoming. This is where you will find files and folders that were shared with you beginning with the most recent. You'll find the date stamp of when the file or folder was shared with you, the owner, and the document type. Under recent, you can see all the files you opened last in reverse chronological order. The starred section contains all the files that you marked with a star. This allows you to view your important files quickly. And last, you have trash. You can only trash items that you own. You have the option to restore items to its original place or delete them forever. You can also search for your documents, images, and other items by typing a word or phrase using the search box at the top. The drop down arrow lets you search by file type, the app that the item opens with, and who owns the item. The cool part is that it shows the operators used for the filter in the search box. You can view your files and folders in list view as you see it here or you could click on this icon for grid view. The next icon gives you the option to sort your items. After selecting on a file and folder, the view detail icon lets you see the activity of your item and its details. The gear icon gives you the settings menu. Drive is now integrated with Google+. When you click on your name with the plus sign, you will be sent to your Google Plus profile page. The bell icon provides you with Google Plus notifications. The icons next to it lets you share a post on Google Plus. You can share photos, a link, a video, an event, or a poll. There's also a Chrome extension that lets you save web content to your Google Drive. Go to chrome.google.com backslash webstore. Search Google Drive and add the extension. 
When you find web content you like, simply click on the drive icon in your extension bar to save the page. You can also sign in and switch between your Google accounts. Click on the profile picture on the top right corner, choose another account, or add another account. Finally, hover over the text in the bottom left corner to see how much of your Google Drive storage you used, even the gigs you used in specific Google tools.